the real presence. We believe as Catholics in the Eucharist as being truly, substantially, the body, blood, soul, and divinity of Jesus Christ. How does it happen? When the priest takes the matter, which is the bread and wine, he says the words of consecration, take and eat, this is my body, take and drink, this is my blood, do this in memory of me. When the priest says the words of consecration, it's no longer bread and wine. It is truly and substantially the body, the blood, the soul, and the divinity of Jesus Christ. The word that we have in theology is called transubstantiation. Thanks be to God at St. Thomas Aquinas and his work. Transubstantiation means that the appearances remain of bread and wine. It appears to be bread. It tastes like bread. It smells like bread. It breaks like bread. It fragments like bread. Once the priest has consecrated that host, it is no longer bread. Therefore, you will never go up and say, I'm going to get the bread. Rather, I'm going to receive Holy Communion. Likewise, the cup of wine, once the consecration has been done, it is no longer wine, but it is the precious blood of Christ. If it is drank in the context of the Mass, it tastes like wine, smells like wine, has the aroma of wine, but it is not wine. It is the precious blood of Christ. So trying to dispel so many errors that are prevalent today within the church. This is one. Many Catholics are ignorant or some maybe even believe that it is a symbol. It is not a symbol. For the Protestants, they believe when they celebrate their meal of the Lord that the bread and wine is the symbolic presence of Christ. Whereas as Catholics, we believe, we know with all our heart, that once consecrated, that bread and wine are truly the body, the blood, the soul, and the divinity of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ.